Welcome back. Uh, no respite for the market. The mid-cap index still down about 400 points. The Nifty Bank about two thirds of a percent. Let's get chatting about business then. We have Atul Auto. The company saw revenue rise marginally in the third quarter. However, volume growth for them continues to be sluggish, though it is on an improving trend. The stock price move, however, has been huge. Uh, today's move notwithstanding, we have Jitendra Radia, who is the president of finance of the company, joins in. Thanks a lot, uh, Mr. Radia. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Um, your thoughts on the volumes? Because uh, I remember, you know, Every time you joined us, you said that FY24 volumes will be higher than FY23. This year so far, you've done close to 23,000 units. Last year, you yep. did 25,550 units. The month of March, you have to do around 2,600 units to cross your guidance of, uh, you know, what you had spoken about earlier. Are you sure of doing 26,000, uh, 2,600 units in the month of March? I mean, we're 20 days in already. Yeah, uh, if you look at our monthly numbers, uh, yeah, uh, we were expecting to be uh, definitely higher than uh, what we were, uh, you know, just uh, trying to project. Unfortunately, in the beginning of the fiscal, uh, our uh, first quarter and uh, half of the uh, half of the month in the quarter two was uh, already disrupted because of uh, certain compliances on OB2 part, uh, which was uh, not at our end, but uh, it was at vendor's end. Uh, whatsoever, uh, we we expect that we are definitely going to cross over the last year figure. We we expect that uh, since the trend has set, the market has set, and uh, the products are performing well into the market, uh, we expect that uh, we will be able to definitely deliver better number. All right, hi Vasadia. So uh, FY24 will be better than FY23, and there will be some growth at least. But let's make it more comfortable for you, right? I know you don't like to talk about the near term. What about FY25? You know, I recall in FY20, you had done close to, I think, you were almost doing a run rate of 4,000 units a month. Will yeah. those glory days return in FY25, according to you? Can you give us a rough guidance number? Can you do at least in FY25 what you did in FY2020, which was around, around 44,000 units? Possible? See, let us uh, understand what was the situation in FY1920. Uh, if you recall, then there were there uh, there was used to be two clear segments. One was diesel, other was alternate fuel. Atul Auto has got a better grip over diesel three-wheeler market, and we were just making inroads for alternative fuel three-wheeler. I'm talking about a pre-COVID thing. Now, post-COVID, the overall market dynamics has changed, and uh, there is a uh, you know hype of uh, electric vehicle as well. And so is the case with Atul Auto. We are well geared up, though. We couldn't get a sufficient time to uh, seed our alternate fuel three-wheeler. And unfortunately, diesel three-wheeler has a declining uh, uh, trend. Uh, putting everything put together, we have redefined our positioning of the product and we have redefined our fundamentals as well. So going forward, FY25, we are quite confident and we are all set and geared up with complete product range. That is, now we have diesel, alternate fuel, uh, and EV. For both the segments, that is the LC and L5, is ready to pass. Yeah. Right. So, what are you confident of when you say that you are confident of FY25? Uh, what does that confidence mean? Is it 3,000 units, 4,000 units, maybe 5,000 units per month as well? Because you have the capacity to do 10,000 units per month. I'm just trying to understand what is your idea of confidence when you say that FY25 will be a good year in terms of volumes? De definitely. We, we expect that we are the first uh, aim is to uh, cross over the pre-COVID level, that is obviously 4,000 per month. And uh, we uh, are all set uh, with our complete product range. There are a few enablers which were missing now. Uh, that is also coming, you know, in place. And with that, uh, we, we expect that we will be able to deliver numbers better than what we are going to deliver in the current fiscal. Though, it would not be, uh, you know, right on my part to give the exact prediction overall. When market is growing and overall three-wheeler is growing with a complete product mm -hmm. range, we are uh, surely going to deliver better volume. So this, so, so by when do you start clocking 4,000 rupees, uh, 4,000 units a month, sir? Very soon. <laughs> uh, quarter one, I'm, quarter one, quarter one should be uh, the month, right? I mean, uh, either mm -hmm. April, May, or June. Let's 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 not uh, let's not define the month, but overall, we can definitely say that uh, the quart uh, quarter one will be better than the last year's quarter one. For, for obvious reason, uh, last year our first quarter was completely disrupted 
and going forward also in a uh, season time in a festival season we will definitely going to uh, uh, regain our volume and uh, markets at both as things look as of now mr adya can you tell us that your you know your target for this year things could change because uh, you know there are various moving parts but for the year you should end in that vicinity of around 45000 units i have already indicated the the all the projections all the you know mm. targets are always to uh, achieve pre covid level first which was obviously uh, you know 45 50000 right. units Okay. Uh, what about margins? Because uh, you know that has been a bit of a pain point as well. This year so far, uh, you've been around that six seven percent mark. Uh, last quarter was close to nine percent. With increasing utilization, increasing volumes, like you're talking about, newer products coming in. What do you see margins and realizations be? I mean, if you could give us a sense of what uh, you're looking at in terms of FI twenty five revenues and margins. revenue obviously when uh, my my utilization is going to improve then uh, obviously the top line is uh, going to be uh, you know very high uh, the about margin it is really difficult because with electric three wheeler there are volatility in terms of raw material sell prices as of now looks that it is coming down but then uh, there is always certain uncertainty about availability of the material so uh, definitely it will be better than fy24 but uh, can't just give you any numbers as of now how it is going to be uh, spun out in, at the end of the year all right what about the export markets sir you know for the coming year what kind of contribution can it contribute in terms of volumes a percentage would be fine as of now uh, export contributes uh, somewhere close to 9 10% in our overall, overall revenue we expect mm. it to improve by another uh, couple of percentage uh, unfortunately uh, african continent is uh, once again going through certain volatility and there are forex issues uh, latin is doing uh, good for us uh, we will definitely going to make inroads in a smaller countries in africa as well and uh, we expect that in overall uh, top line the export is going to contribute anything about 10% uh, maybe in between 10 and 15 all right exports will be anywhere between 10 to 15% and uh, the electric three wheelers uh, what is the run rate right now you were uh, hoping for some sort of accru- uh, uh, approvals to come by there as well See, we are all set with L3 uh, as in terms of product, and uh, L3 is doing good for us. Contributes somewhere close to 15% in overall uh, revenue. Uh, L5 uh, we have introduced at uh, limited geographies, and uh, there we are getting a market feedback, and market feedback is good. Uh, unfortunately, we are stuck with uh, approval of PM2, which is expected any time. Uh, though it is likely to be expired from 31st March, and uh, we expect that new regime may come uh, after uh, uh, result of uh, lok sabha election so uh, we are set with the product uh, that is one we are also uh, set with our swappable battery proposition with honda and uh, we expect that the vehicle will be rolled out sometimes in quarter one all right uh, thank you so much for joining in sir and giving us all the uh, business updates that you've uh, spoken about confident of crossing volumes versus last year this year confident of doing close to 40 to 45000 in terms of volumes next year as well revenues and margins of course will improve according to the volume growth 10 to 15% revenues coming in from exports l5 the approval for that will be extremely crucial to watch out for likely post the result of uh, lok sabha elections as well but uh,